All right, YouTube, this Detroit's HPTV coming to you out of Detroit. It's Friday the 26th, 9 a.m. I came across an interesting story I want to share with you guys. They reported last night they arrested a guy for using artificial intelligence to get his, his boss fired. Now, what he did was he used some type of technology to copy his boss voice and made it and made the voice say all kind of racist things, anti-Semitic uh, remarks and whatever. Then he sent it to other teachers because this happened at a school and the other teachers shared it and it went viral. He was ultimately fired, but the feds investigated it and found out that it wasn't him. It was AI generated. Now, I want you to think about that. If somebody could take your voice or take your image and use it in a manner that um, embarrasses you or shames you or gets you fired or, I mean, it can be weaponized in so many ways when you're dealing with artificial intelligence. It always it puts you in the mind of the movie Terminator when the computers and the machines took over the rise of the machine. But I want to show you this. I want to show you this clip and you tell me what you think about this story. It's for fair use into the 1976 Copyright Act for Educational Purposes and Commentary. Check this story out. The results of the analysis indicated the recording contained traces of AI generated content. A major development in the viral and racially charged audio recording that led to the removal of a Baltimore County High School principal earlier this year. Good evening and thank you for staying with us. I'm Mary Bubala. Tonight, we are learning some new details on the arrest and the alleged motive behind this fake recording. Fox 25's Alexa Ashwell joins us live in studio with some of the details. Alexa? Yes, Mary. Investigators believe this was a plot for revenge using artificial intelligence. Baltimore County Police say the principal, once in question, told investigators he believed the athletic director was targeting him. This investigation revealing just that. And in a way, officials say the state has never seen before. I seriously don't understand. Tonight, a Pikesville High School principal vindicated. The recording was not authentic. And the school's athletic director, now off the job and facing charges. It's been determined the recording was generated through the use of artificial intelligence technology. Through their investigation, detectives alleged Mr. Darian, who was the athletic director at the high school, made the recording to retaliate against the principal who had launched an investigation into the potential mishandling of school funds. Baltimore County Police Chief Robert McCullough announcing charges against Dazan Darian. The 31-year-old is facing four charges, including stalking, retaliation, disturbing school operations, and theft. This investigation dating back to January of this year. That's when the principal of Pikesville High School was temporarily removed from his position after it was alleged it was his voice in a racist audio recording that had gone viral. In it, disparaging remarks were made about students and staff members. If I have to get one more complaint from one more Jew in this community, I'm going to join the other side. Kathy, I'm done. Newly obtained charging documents detail forensic analysts and members of the FBI were able to determine the recording was in fact fake and generated through AI. The results of the analysis indicated the recording contained traces of AI generated content. In court documents, investigators say interviews conducted, including with Darian and two other teachers, revealed they received the recording by email from a Gmail account before it went viral the next day. That Google account, investigators detail, was traced back to Darian, and the associated IP address belonged to his grandmother. Chief McCullough detailing a warrant was issued for Darian's arrest last night, and he was stopped this morning while trying to board a flight at BWI Airport. The chief says it's unclear whether this was an attempt to flee. It's unknown at this point. We all, all that we know is that uh, he was at the airport and he was getting ready to board a flight to Houston. Uh, at that time, he uh, he had a firearm with him. There was some concern about the way the pack the firearm was uh, checked and packaged, and that 
caused the Maryland Transportation Authority police to, uh, to look further into him. Many questions remain for the school and the district, including any action against the other two teachers named in the charging documents. According to the superintendent, a recommendation for Darian's termination has been made, and there will be future discussions with the principal, whose name is being cleared. We ask everyone not to rush to judgment, but our role and our responsibility is to the students and the community and the truth, and so we had to make sure that the experts gave us the information. Now, I asked Baltimore County State's Attorney Scott Schellenberger if this will be the first case involving AI his office has ever prosecuted. He says yes. According to court documents, Darian has posted bail and is scheduled to appear in court June 11th. Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time. I want you to think about this. This person was able to actually take somebody's voice, use their voice to get them fired. And when you do more research, you can see that they can take your image, your, your likeness, and actually create a, uh, a persona of you that they utilize online. In, in, in the metaverse, so to speak. You know, you see now that you have AI generated buttons for Facebook and Instagram, whereas artificial intelligence is being forced down your throat. And the dangers of it is, it's a learning tool. You know, AI learns on its own. And the fear that they always had was that AI would start thinking independently of the human beings that's entering data, which means they could possibly get to the point where it's like in Terminator, the machines look at human beings as a problem. And we know that most machines or computers are used to problem solve. So what does that look like? When the machines and the technology decides that human beings are the problem on this planet. You ever thought about that? You know they always show us those movies where the computers take over. And I thought this would be an interesting story for you guys to really kind of ponder because we live in an age where we all carry phones. You know what I mean? There's cameras everywhere. So we have to assume that everything we do and everything we say is being listened to, watched, and possibly record it. So tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think about AI in the chats. Signing to you out of Detroit. This is Detroit's HPTV. Keep your hand on the swivel. Salute to all patriots. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.